Welcome back to Short on Time. Let's talk about Hamilton. Founded in Lancaster, Pennsylvania in 1892, Hamilton manufactured watches in the United States for over 70 years. The company took its name from James Hamilton, the son of a Scottish attorney who founded Lancaster County, where the watch manufacturer was later built. The company gained steam, no pun intended, as it manufactured incredibly accurate pocket watches for the railroad industry. And by the early 20th century, Hamilton had captured over half of the U.S. watch market. The Broadway Limited was the brand's first serially produced pocket watch, and executives billed it as the watch of railroad accuracy. It wasn't until 1917 that the Pennsylvania brand introduced its first wristwatch and began to lay the groundwork for a production of marine chronometers during the First World War. By 1928, Hamilton was able to acquire the Illinois Watch Company to further build out its domestic manufacturing. The brand became known for offering well-built movements inside an array of solid gold and gold-filled case styles. For some cool vintage examples, check out the Art Deco-styled piping rock and spur models. As the Second World War loomed, Hamilton ceased consumer production and focused solely on watches for the United States Army, shipping more than one million watches overseas. Hamilton started pushing its design boundaries after the war, launching its Pacer and Ventura models with electric movements and very neo-futuristic cases. For any Madman fans in the audience, the Ventura was the watch worn by Ken Cosgrove, you know, from accounts. These models, along with the Altair and Gemini, came to mark the last decade of Hamilton's watch manufacturing in the United States. With the onset of the quartz crisis, Hamilton continued production of its electric watches, eventually launching the Pulsar, which was famously worn by President Gerald Ford. The U.S. manufacturer had strayed far from its roots, though, and eventually broke into several smaller divisions in order to remain in business. While Hamilton's electric watch inventory was sold to Seiko, its American manufacturing was shut down in 1969 and moved to Switzerland to be completed at BRN's factory. As Hamilton struggled to regain the market interest of its past, the brand was ultimately sold to SSIH in 1974, which is now known as the Swatch Group. In today's market, Hamilton offers a range of entry-level watches, such as their Intramatic chronographs, their Jazzmaster lineup, and their quite popular Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. As the brand has begun reviving their past designs, there has been new interest from the collective community into previous Hamilton models. Vintage pieces are often gold-filled with handsome little details, and they offer quite an approachable option for folks wanting a heritage watch without breaking the bank. 